In this video, we're going to build a floating focus anchor system. This system is going to look quite similar to what we saw in a previous video when we looked at load sharing anchors. The key difference with a floating focus anchor is that in addition to our rear and sideward anchor points, we're also going to have anchor points forward of the focal point. This provides us with two key advantages. Firstly, it allows us to pre-tension the system, to tension the anchor points forward and rear of the focal point against each other. This helps to minimise any movement in the system when under operation and gives us the confidence that our anchor is going to stay exactly where we need it during operation. Secondly, as its name implies, it also tends to raise the anchor off the ground, allowing it to float in the air. When we have team members who'll be working regularly at our anchor, such as during a lowering operation, this can be a valuable way to reduce the fatigue on our team. As you can see, I've already set up four individual anchor points that we're going to use to construct our floating focus anchor. As with the load sharing anchor, I'm going to connect them to our focal point using a length of sterling power cord. So I'll do that now, and when we're done, we'll have a look through the system to understand how it works. We've now attached our focal point to each of the four anchor points. And now I'm just going to remove any slack in each of the legs to try to bring the system under tension. We now have a moderate amount of tension in all four of our anchor legs. If we attach a final carabiner for the load, we can give our anchor a pull. Forward, absolutely no movement. Rear, absolutely no movement. Sideways, absolutely, virtually no movement. Now the final thing, we said one of the advantages here is that it helps us keep our anchor point off the ground. It's obviously not doing that in this configuration where our anchor points, because of the uneven surface, are predominantly at a lower level than our focal point. But if we find a stick, this will do nicely. Because our anchor point isn't going to move at all, we can easily suspend our focal point off the ground, making it easier to operate. Finally, we'll do a quick walkthrough of how this has all been set up, allowing you to see it close up. We've started at this anchor point where we just have a simple figure of eight knot in the end of our power cord, running down to our focal point. And as we saw in the load sharing anchors video, a clove hitch to an isolation loop to a second clove hitch. Now this clove hitch isn't under so much tension after raising it off the ground due to the uneven surface, but this was the tensioned clove hitch. Coming to our second anchor point, another clove hitch, and this second line is just another isolation loop running the power cord back to our focal point. That attaches around here, where we have a clove hitch running to our third anchor point. Yet another clove hitch, and yet another isolation loop or dead leg. Going back to our focal point, clove hitch and isolation loop to a final clove hitch, running to our fourth anchor point, where the power cord has just been affixed with a figure of eight knot.